Think hybrid cloud is complicated? Think again. Azure Arc is flipping the script on how we manage infrastructure across on-prem, multi-cloud, and edge environments. Hey everyone, I'm Travis, and today we're diving into five mind-blowing ways Azure Arc has revolutionized hybrid cloud. Whether you're an IT pro, cloud architect, or just curious about Azure Arc and its features, this one's for you. If you find these tutorials helpful, please like and subscribe so you never miss new tips and updates that can take your cloud skills to the next level. Check out my courses at udemy.com, including my beginner's guide to the AZ900, designed to help you quickly grasp cloud fundamentals and pass the certification exam. Links are below. And to all my channel members, thank you for your ongoing support. It means a lot. Back to it. Let's start with what Azure Arc is. Azure Arc is a service that extends cloud management beyond Azure. Azure provides management for Platform as a Service, or PaaS, and Infrastructure as a Service, or IaaS services. But when we think about Azure, we typically think cloud only. Azure Arc lets us extend benefits of the cloud to our on-premises environment, and even other clouds. We get a single management interface for multiple environments. With Azure Arc, we can manage resources consistently from one location. Azure Arc-enabled services use a resource bridge or agent to establish a connection to Azure. From there, those services can be inventoried and managed in the same way we manage Azure services. Now that we've covered the basics, let's explore five key features that make Azure Arc stand out. First up is unified management. Azure Arc lets us manage servers, Kubernetes clusters, SQL data services, VMware vSphere, System Center Virtual Machine Manager, and edge locations all from one Azure portal. It's like giving the entire infrastructure a single pane of glass. Number two, security and governance. With Azure Arc, we can apply Azure policies, RBAC roles, and Defender for Cloud across all our resources. That means consistent compliance and security, no matter where the workload lives. Third is GitOps for Kubernetes. GitOps extends DevOps by using Git as a single source for both application code and infrastructure configuration, applying development practices to managed infrastructure. So GitOps for Kubernetes uses Azure Arc-enabled Kubernetes which lets us deploy apps and all supporting configuration, including infrastructure using Git repositories. One commit and changes rollout across clusters, on-prem or in the cloud. Number four is Arc-enabled data services. We can run Azure SQL managed instances on our own infrastructure with cloud-like automation, scalability, and updates. Perfect for data sovereignty or low latency environments. And finally, number five, visibility and insights. Azure Arc integrates with Azure Monitor and Resource Graph, giving us powerful analytics, alerts, and dashboards across the entire hybrid environment. So there we have it, five ways Azure Arc is changing the game for hybrid cloud. From unified management to GitOps and cloud-native data services, it makes hybrid feel like native Azure. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more Cloud Insights, and drop a comment below. What's your favorite Azure Arc feature?